Hi friends, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another one of our Halloween crafts. A whole month of Halloween crafts, some videos. I oh, love, love getting ready for all the holidays. And today we are going to make this Dollar Tree wall sconce that is so cool. Okay, so first you're going to need one of these shields from the Halloween costume section of the Dollar Tree. You're going to need one of the skulls. I've got some spray paint there. That was just left over. It's from Walmart. I do have some Dollar Tree uh, tea lights up there and then I am going to use some scissors and just some other little odd end things but here we go here let's get started and let's spray paint that shield now I didn't take a video of it um so I think it was dark out and so um I didn't get a video of that but you you know what spray painting is like right so now I am just I, I'm just kind of used my marker there to just to make a line of just about where I wanted it where I thought it would be good to cut at now this plastic cuts really, really well, guys. Now I'm getting my tea lights out just to see. I wasn't sure like where I wanted, how many I wanted them, or how I was going to place them. So I'm just seeing how I want it to sit on the top of the skull there. And again, using my marker to trace out just a circle. That way I can cut out an opening for that tea light to go. I'm just kind of fitting it here and seeing just how how big I'm going to need it to um, be. I want it just a little bit bigger because I am going to put some hot glue down just to kind of, um, I don't want to like hot glue it in there. I'm just trying to um, like basically make it like a rubber, oh, I don't know, like a resistance just so it just kind of rubs up against that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I don't want to hot glue it in because I want to be able to get it out if it um, if the battery is tight. So now I'm just going to make some like cool. These are just going to be like some creepy like blood like you know things that come down from the top of the skull. And uh, well, it took me forever to get the uh, end of the uh, painter's tape there. I did get that at the Dollar Tree, and then I'm just going to spray paint this also black. The shield is now dry, so I am just hot gluing. Now, I really think that maybe E6000 would have worked better. This, I did have a little bit of trouble getting it to stay, or maybe the Gorilla Glue hot glue might have worked a little bit better, but I did have a little bit of trouble. So just just know that, I mean, it, I did get it to work. It will work, but just, just know that it might take some fiddling. I did also eventually take that sticker off the bottom, but I should have done it before I started all of this. I'm just taking some acrylic paint here and I'm just mixing up oh, and I got it all over me. That's that's this is how it always works when I'm crafting, right? I'm always a mess. So I'm just mixing the red with a little bit of black. Did get a little bit too much black here at first and but it makes a kind of a dark undertone which makes it which works really well. So I'm just painting those and then I am going to go back over it with the red just just to brighten that blood up a little bit. I'm not sure where my footage went, um, but I also did go back over with some black just around where that, um, where the hot glue is around the sides of the skull just to blend that into the back. Um, I do peel up some of it here, um, but then I did, after I peel it up, then I also go back and like paint, paint it there. So now the tea light is dry and I am just kind of fitting it in there. I took it out for a second because I decided what I, I accidentally scratched part of the paint on the shield. And then I loved how it looked. So we continued. We got our sanding block from the Dollar Tree and we just sanded off some of the black so you could see that kind of cool rustic gold shining through and it gave it a really cool effect. Here is the finished product. So cool. My boys think it is great. I'll show it to you in my house tour later on, but it basically, I have it in like the, like the landing area of our stairs where it goes up and then it goes up again. And so it's a really cool effect. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Hit the notifications so you know when I upload a video and check back for all of our Halloween crafts because there's so many of them, guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.